All right, guys, what a race. Dover. Uh, great race in there. And uh, just want to say uh, congratulations to Chase Elliott. Uh, Chase will advance to the next round. And uh, wow, what a finish. Right place, right time. Good strategy call there. And uh, he deserved it. And, and I hate it for Eric Amarola because I had picked Eric Amarola to finish second in this race. And. Uh, so I think he's got a good enough car and a good enough team to advance to the round of eight, which it ain't over yet, but he's definitely got his work cut up for him. And uh, so uh, hopefully he'll bounce back. And uh, going into the next week, it's going to be insane, man. I mean, it's going to be who can survive. So a lot of these people, like the big three, Harvick, Bush, Turex, they better be glad they got 30-some, 30 30-some, 30 40-some points in, in their pocket because... Talladega might hurt him if it did. So, but uh, great, great race. And uh, before I get to the uh, race here, uh, just want to say uh, I thought that was really cool what Jimmy Johnson did to uh, to Truex and all them by giving them all these bikes and stuff to give to the kids uh, out there and stuff. I thought that was cool. And uh, you know, I know Jimmy felt bad for what he done. So. Uh, you know, uh, that was really cool for Jimmy to do. But, uh, anyway, back to this, uh, Dover here. Uh, first of all, before the race started, I seen Kevin Harvick's car, which I'd seen earlier in the week. But, man, I love that paint scheme. That, just the, the color of it was awesome. But, uh, great job by them on that. And, uh, what's weird thing here about Jimmy Johnson was, before the race started, I think it was the ball joint or something coming out of the car. I mean, before, the, I, I, I didn't even get around the track one lap. And, uh, and he come back out ten laps, uh, ten laps down. Now, uh, now this race was kind of boring to the to the end. Uh, not much going on. Uh, Kevin Harvick went ahead to win stage one. And uh, and uh, going back to Chase Elliott, the race winner. I hate to say this, guys, and you guys can watch this if you want to. Remember, I've been talking about this tire violation stuff. There was no way that was a tire violation on Chase Elliott. That, a little tiny kid could have reached down and grabbed that. I mean, it, it was right there. It was five, three foot from the car. There's no way that was a tire violation. So, I don't know. So I just don't understand it, that deal there. But he, he came back to win the race, so good job for him. Uh, but Kevin Harvick went ahead to win stage number two. Kevin had a dominant car. He had the best car all day long. Uh, and uh, him and Alex Bowman really raced hard there. Kevin was trying to put to, to get around him, and Alex was battling the stand lead lap, fighting as hard as he can because he didn't have a great of a car. But Alex Bowman did get the lucky dog after he, two times he got the lucky dog. So uh, just kept digging. So that's the way to do it, Alex. you got to keep digging, buddy. Uh, you just never know about these races. And... Uh, Kevin Harvick added two more playoff points to his uh, on his way to the Final Four, which he will be there. Uh, now, getting back on these, as we hit the third stage, I noticed these restarts. It seemed like the guy starting on, on the bottom groove in the front row, it didn't affect that bad. But if you were starting, say, third, fifth, seventh, you lost three or four positions on those restarts. And, uh, that was really critical to come out in that high groove for the restarts. So, uh, on that. And I thought NASCAR did a great job on the cautions. It was three or four cars just kind of barely nipped the wall a little bit and they didn't throw a caution out and stuff. So, uh, I thought that was really cool. And, uh, even though that one time there was a little debris on the track and they didn't call it whenever Kyle Larson was leading. But, uh, speaking of Kyle Larson, I don't know what happened then. They just completely missed the setup. Uh, he was lucky. I think he finished 12th. Lucky to get that finish. And uh, that happened. But uh, anyway, we get going on here in stage number three. And uh, the big three. Speaking of the big three. Wow. You're talking about luck for the big three. Bad luck. Kevin Harvick had a broken uh, valve steam in the car. And had to come back down the pit road there. Got Got a lap down, got the lucky dog back under caution. Kyle Bush was speeding them pit road, and then Martin Truex, while I got him trouble, there was busted. He was busted speeding too, and uh, so all three of them had their troubles. And uh, 
it was just a, one of them deals where they, they're lucky a lot of other people had trouble. And uh, Clint Boyer is another guy. Great day all all day long. Top two, top three. Braced hard. Uh, 18 to go. Clint had a flat tire. Hit the wall. Destroyed his car. Uh, and then uh, Talladega coming up. If Clint, he's got to survive. V ends up finishing 20th or more at Talladega. And then he's going to have to be going like Alex Bowman in a must win. Uh after Talladega, so uh, we'll see what happens to that. Now, we get towards the end of the race, and uh, Eric Almarola pits. And uh, I kept screaming to myself, I was like, Eric, don't pit. There are going to be six or seven of them stay out. I said, you can hold them off here. And sure enough, they pitted, so he ended up, he ended up hitting a wall coming out of turn two. And whenever he did, he took out uh, Kislowski, Turex, and Bowman, uh, which is none of his fault. It was just hard racing. Clint, uh, Eric was was going for the win. He had the second best car all day long, or the third best. Him and Clint and Kevin, all three was dominant. So uh, that, but uh, and Chase Elliott holds off there. Denny Hamlin, good hard racing, but Chase gets the win. So congratulations, Chase Elliott and all his fans out there. You guys deserve it. Uh, Chase, good, good, good young kid, and uh, he's gonna be winning a lot more in the future. So. Uh, He's just getting better and better, and uh, off to the round of eight for Chase. And there's a chance he could hit that round four. You never know. So, uh, I mean, they're they're just getting good. So, congratulations. I mean, uh, overall, I thought you know it was a boring first couple stages, but the racing was great. I loved how the tires fell off eight mile an hour, and uh, you had a high groove, you had a low groove, uh, middle groove. Uh, some teams had their cars set up for 20 or 40 lap runs and some had set up for 80 lap runs so I love that part of racing that's the part of racing that I love that a lot of people don't like and uh, but yeah that, I mean I just think it was a great race guys and uh, next week Talladega bring out a lot of uh, trucks to haul off a lot of cars because I'm serious, man. I would start dead last, and I would like ride to the last 15 laps. And just, I think if you can sell trouble, you can uh, you can get a top five, maybe win the race. So we'll see what happens there. And then we'll, I'm gonna do another video later on this week about the point standings and stuff like that and the rules packages. And uh, but congratulations, Chase Elliott and all his friends, Nicola, buddy of mine on here. Congratulations to him, a huge fan. Uh, I'm sure he's happy. So, uh, yeah, great race, guys. And then we'll see you guys later in a pick five contest. I haven't looked yet, but I'm going to look. And if somebody won it, I will send them a message. So, uh, there we go, guys. Uh, another week down. I'll tell you. See you guys later.